Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today, we will talk about animals like birds and dogs and cats and rabbits and plants. So we're going to see what is different and what is the same about animals and plants like trees and flowers, fishes and birds here. So, spring is a good time to go on a picnic. Picnic is when we go to the park and we bring snacks like kimbap and chicken and juice and we play and eat in the park. That is a picnic. We can enjoy <clears throat> the beautiful scenery outside. So outside there's lots of scenery or what we can see. There's a lake, there's trees, there's people, there's a sky. There's so much beautiful scenery that we can see. We feel happy to see flowers, grass, butterflies, or birds. We call some of them animals and some of them plants. So animals can move for themselves like humans, but plants cannot move. So animals like people and dogs and cats, we can run, we can jump, we can run around, but, but plants cannot. They have they can move, but it's very slow, so they only move from the wind. They cannot move. Animals eat living things to get nutrients and vitamins and energy, but plants use sunlight. Most plants use sunlight. So animals like people and dogs and, you don't know, wolves, we all eat sort of other animals. It's kind of scary, but we eat chicken. There's a living thing. We eat cow, which is a living thing, and we eat fish. However, plants don't eat other animals, most of them. They just uh, get food from the sun. Animals respond to outer stimuli, but plants cannot. So outer stimuli is something that comes from outside. When someone touches me, that is outside stimuli, it's changing me. Or let's say a rain is coming, or if it's fire, it's hot. If it's sharp, then it hurts, right? When animals can respond to it. So when something from outside, let's say a tree comes and hits me, then I feel it. I can move away from it. I can uh, dodge away from it, right? Uh, so I see it and I can change my body, but plants cannot. Right? If we poke a plant, then the plant cannot do anything. If we hurt the plant, if we put it on fire, then the plant can't do anything. It's kind of powerless in some ways. When we touch a butterfly, so one second, is a butterfly an animal or is it a plant? You're right, it is an animal, right? Because it can, animals, it can move, butterfly can move. Uh, butterflies, they eat living things. Well, not all butterflies, but some do. And they can respond to outside stimuli. So when we touch it, which is the outside stimuli, it can respond, it can change, it can fly away. But when we touch a flower, it cannot move. Now, can you tell the difference, what is different about an animal and a plant? Flowers and grass over here, uh, trees and roses, they're all plants. Butterflies and birds and cats and fish, they are animals, so they are different. But, you know, usually the same in some ways. Uh, all right, we have three review uh, questions here. A, animals eat living things to get blank. So animals, let's think about dogs, right? So what do, actually no, let's think about lions. What do lions eat? They eat zebras, they eat, you know, buffalo. Uh, they are living things, right? They catch living animals. And why do they do that? It's because they need energy. They need vitamins. They need food. All of this is called nutrients. Nutrients is everything that we need to stay alive, right? So nutrients could be vitamin B, 
uh, minerals and water and salt and protein, all of these things, we need that every day and these are nutrients and animals need nutrients. They eat living things. B, animals respond or they change or they get scared or they get happy or something to outer blank but most plants cannot. So an animal, let's say there's a baby, right? And if we touch the baby, then the baby can respond. If we do it hard, the baby will cry. If we do it very nicely, the baby will respond in a nice way. So when we are using something from the outside to change the animal, then we say that is a outer stimuli. Stimuli is something that can uh, change us. So if when we are feeling very hot outside, then what stimuli are we uh, feeling? We are feeling the sun. If we are very cold in the pool, what stimuli is it? Then the ice water is the stimuli. It's changing our body, right? So it's what changes something in somewhere. See, now you can tell the blank between an animal and a plant. So this story today, we were talking about not animals and plants are the same, but they are separate. They have things that are not the same and they have differences. So animals can move, plants cannot move. The animals they eat, uh, plants just use sunlight. All right, so we're gonna quickly practice three grammar questions here. All right, A, we feel happy. Blank, C, flowers, grass, butterflies, or birds. So we have two verbs here. We have two 동사's here, action words. First one is feel. Second one is see. All right? 느끼다, 본다. Right? So these are 동사's or action words, right? So we, this verb here, when we have two, one is a helper verb, 도와주는 동사, and one is a main verb or the main 동사, all right? So this here is the helping verb, and after a helping verb, we have to use the original main verb, all right? So the original verb, or the original form of see is to see. We don't say we feel happy seeing flowers or we feel happy saw flowers is we feel too happy to see flowers. So this is the helping verb and when we use the main verb, we have to go, go, put the to and the original form of the verb. So again, we don't say to saw or to seeing or to seen. We just say the original to see flowers. We feel happy to eat. We feel happy to play. We don't say we feel happy to eating, happy to play. It's just to play, to eat. All right? When we touch a butterfly, blank, but when we touch a flower, it cannot move. So the choice is here. We are talking about the butterfly, right? Because it is talking about the butterfly, 그거. Right? So do we say fly or flies? Well, we have to look at here. How many butterflies are we talking about? A butterfly, 한 나비, right? We're talking about one butterfly, okay? So when we have one 명사 and when we put a verb, a 동사, we have to put a S. So the answer is a butterfly flies. We have to put the S when the 명사 is just 하나, right? So we can say a dog eats, a cat plays, but when we have more, like in this, butterflies and birds, right? 많은 나비들, 많은 새들, we're talking about many things, right? We do not put the S here, we put 
are. So we have to look at two things. How many nouns are there? This has one noun. This has many nouns, right? So when we have one noun, 동사에다가, we have to put the S. A bird sings. Uh, my friend, one friend, plays. This is many, so we have to say R. Bur butterflies and birds eat. No S. My mom and dad sleep. No S. All right? So next time you go to the park, look at what are animals and what are plants and think about what are what's different about them. All right? So thank you for joining us for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.